Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to Technique of the Week. We have a situation where in a person's flower bed that we're doing the work for, for Patios for Patriots, they have a, uh, a well and what we want to do is cover that up with something. So we had the idea of making a rock. Now this might look like a, a big heavy thing, but it's actually styrofoam that's, that's underneath this and we've carved out on the bottom of this a hole where that'll set on top of that and it'll just look like a rock and then if they ever you know need to, to work on the well or whatever they can pick this thing off there and, and, and get to it. This whole thing probably weighs about 120 pounds right now. Uh, it's all the more it weighs so it'll be easy for two people to kind of lift it off there. Uh, but I'll give you a look at what kind of what looks like underneath here. So we just have this it's just carved out underneath there and so when we get out to the job we'll actually put it you know right over top of that and you won't be able to see it then but we're going to be showing you a uh, a staining method i first seen this from nathan giffen from vertical artisans and i just talked to him a little bit ago and he said he actually learned it from mike vernelson if you want to learn more about that just go to verticalartisans.com what we're going to be doing is making it look like there's uh it's called lichens on a rock, it's where um, you kind of see sometimes a rock has like some stuff growing on it. It's not necessarily moss, but it's kind of a greenish gray color. So that's kind of what I've done so far is I kind of got a base down. I got some spots um, that are like greenish gray right now and I want to, I want that to be the color that, that shows through. So we're gonna use um, a method where we take uh, just regular peat moss and we're gonna put it in some water I'm gonna keep testing it and adding water to this to see what the right consistency is. But when it starts to stick to the bucket pretty good, like that, it means it's ready to go. You don't want it too wet where water, you know, where too much water gets on the, the stone, but you don't want it too dry where it has to be able to stick, so. Once we've got our a peat moss thrown on here, and you just wanna make it look, you know, as random as possible. Once we've got that, we're gonna take another color of stain and just spray it on everywhere. So once the stain's dry, we're just gonna scrape kind of as much of this off as we can. And then we can take it outside and squirt it off with the hose. And you can see it kind of showing some of the, the original color through it all. And once this dries, it's wet right now, but once it dries, it'll look a lot uh, lighter and more natural looking. Thanks for joining us this week on, on Technique of the Week. I hope you guys um, have a good rest of the week. See you next time.